Another blowout victory. This one took a little while to get you guys going. Uh, Zach, can you talk about the offense and just what it took to finally get it going in that six minutes? Uh, well, we came out and we were facing kind of a different pitcher than we've seen the whole year tonight. Um, he was more of a spotting guy, like from pretty slow. So we had a, we had trouble staying back, and we had a lot of opportunities where we had to hit the ball in the middle of the field, and we didn't. But uh, just trying to scare Andy and maybe get him a loss. <laughs> and then uh, in that inning, you, you hit the two-run double, and you also hit the two-run uh, blast to, to center field. Um, talk about those two at-bats and, and what you saw in those pitches. Um, well, lately I've been seeing the ball pretty well. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what to say. I just saw it and hit it. That's, that's my approach, honestly. So. Yeah. And as the game was going, did you think you know, this could be one where you have to muscle it out and it, it could turn into a pitcher's duel 2-1? Yeah, at first, um, you know, me and Three were talking last night, and he said that you know, the game was going to be a 1-0 game. So I just you know, I made sure to be on my A game, and you know, thank God uh, our team broke out later on. Yeah. And how do you do that mentally after you just watched your lineup score 26 runs the night before? How, how do you just keep that focus that you, know, you will need to to keep them held down. I mean, it's a it's a D one program, so and it's baseball regardless. So I just knew I was I just had to be focused no matter who I'm playing. And Zach, what can you say about uh, Hayward's bomb before you in the seventh? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it went as far as mine, but um, it was a bomb. It was definitely a shot. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he he told me in the in the locker room that he was going for a second tonight. And he did it so. He's got his confidence there, and it's a good thing.